Math lesson today focuses on topic 9-10, which is using some reasoning to put numbers in sequence and sorting and some problem solving on the back. So we need page 560, 568, and we'll start with name on it. So the blue team wants to sort their jerseys from greatest to least. Put them in order here. So here are the four jerseys you have to sort. Put it in order from biggest, greatest to least, biggest to small. It says look for a pattern of sorted jerseys. What is the pattern rule? So you're looking at the difference between jerseys. And I'll do the first two for you for 518, 418. Figure out the last two. And you're looking for the pattern between them. Well, this is going down by minus something. How can you get 518 to 418? So it's the pattern is, or the pattern rule, what is it's adding or subtracting by and how much? It's not by plus 5 or minus 5 or plus 10 or minus 10. Or, I can figure out. And then what jersey number is going to come next in the pattern? It would be this next one right here. What would come next? A librarian sorted these books. Find the missing book number. So you have 860, 858 something, 830, 820. What's missing? Right here. And describe one pattern you notice. Well, what's the pattern? Well, we have 860, 850 something, 830, 820. Here's your pattern. The eights are staying the same. The zeros are staying the same. The tens digit is what? What's happening there? Flip it over. I would pause it and write it in there on the back. It says Sam delivered mail to four houses numbered 115, 120, 110, and 105. He started out with the house the least number and continued to the house with the greatest number. If the number pattern continues, what are the next three house numbers? So we need to put these in order from least greatest. So starting with 105 and then 110, 115, 120. And then it says if the number patterns continue, what are the next three house numbers? So 120 and then what would be the next three? What is the pattern rule for the four house numbers you sorted? Well, what's the pattern rule? Let's do the plus or minus and you got to figure out how many are between them. From 5 to 10, from 10 to 15, from 15 to 20. What well, are the next three house numbers? Just write these down there and then write the numbers of the houses in the bottom row of houses above. And then down at the bottom, why do you sort the numbers before looking for a pattern? So why do you sort? And we'll go back to kindergarten. Why do you sort the numbers before looking for a pattern? You need to get organized. So if you don't sort these, 120, 110, 105, 115, and they're not in order from greatest to least or least to greatest, you're not going to be able to figure out the pattern. So you need to get organized to find the pattern. And that's it, friends. That's what you need today for 9-10. Thanks.